Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I'd do one of those playing with makeup videos that I did maybe a few weeks ago or a little while ago. Um, I had so much fun filming that one and I have acquired a few new products so I thought that I'd show you guys in this video today where I achieved this look. I literally woke up this morning and I was like I'm gonna do a badass winter look. I'm gonna use MAC Film Noir and it's gonna be boss. And then I started doing it, the tutorial and I put on Film Noir and I was just like, I want to do something spring and summer like. So I took it off and I ended up scrapping my idea and coming up with this and I'm so happy with it. I'll probably do another video using MAC Film Noir eventually, but for now I love this look. This is just what I felt like today. So this is what I did. Um, so yeah. Let's get on to the video. Yep. <laughs> I was searching my whole house and I couldn't find a headband. And this was the only thing that I could find. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I know. It's not the most stylish thing in the world. But I gotta do with what I got. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be using two new products for my foundation. I'm gonna be using the Models Prefer airbrush foundation brush it looks like this and I feel like it's very very similar to the Sephora brushes like in terms of how they look and yes I know my hands are so bad excuse it I don't know how to fix it and then also the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation um, Fran recommended this to me so I hope it's good because it was expensive oh my god so expensive I have one in shade 6.5 and I've never used it before so that's one pump size dripping down my finger. So let's see how far one pump goes. I did really want to use my NARS Coca Cabana Illuminator, but I feel like if I try and put, like if I put something dewy underneath, it'll kind of take away how I feel about the full, like, uh, if I use a dewy base, then obviously it's going to look more luminous than if I didn't use a dewy base. So I didn't use one for this video, but I really want to do so badly. I still have a little bit left over, so I didn't use a full pump. But let's see how this brush blends it in. I feel like this brush is sucking up all the product. Okay, changing brushes. So I'm just going to use a normal synthetic angle top brush. This one's from Jessup. These are so affordable. Yeah, this has got way much more coverage <laughs> than up there. I feel like that brush was just sucking up product. The guy on counter that served me, he said that one pump could do your whole face. It's done half my face. <laughs> yeah, like that's literally all that was on my finger and it's all on this side of my face. So I feel like you do need two pumps to do your whole face. But I do quite like it though. So far it's really, really pretty. So I do notice that this foundation doesn't really have much of a smell which is always nice. It's kind of like a neutral smell. Like it has a scent, but it's very, very neutral. Like it doesn't really smell like anything at all. Hopefully this foundation's really nice, like on camera and stuff. So it's not got the best coverage in the world, but it does look really, really nice. Like it looks healthy. Like you don't look dead, but you don't look like you have a lot of makeup on. Like, I don't know. It's got a nice satin finish to it though, which I really, really appreciate because I think I prefer satin finishes the most out of any type of foundation finish. Like, I like dewy or satin. I don't really like overly matte looking foundations. I do like how the foundation looks on the viewfinder though. Like, I think it looks really, really natural. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows next. I'll do concealer later. But I'm going to go in with my Tarte Eyebrow Mousse. I have mine in shade Medium Brown. It looks like this. And I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 317 Liner Brush. I've only recently started using this. I've owned it for a while. But seriously, I hated the tone at first. And now I'm obsessed with it. So I don't know what happened. I feel like my hair got lighter. Even though you can't see. I feel like my hair got lighter. I've never dyed my hair. But... A lot of people recently have been asking me, have you dyed your hair? What have you done to your hair? It looks different, like in real life. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow. I won't completely glue my eyebrows using just this stuff, just because I feel like I get the most natural effect or the most nice effect when I use pomade style products and then I use powder and then I use a setting gel. I know it sounds excessive, but I love eyebrows so much. 
So I'm just going to leave my eyebrows for now, let them kind of settle and see how I'm going to fix it from here because I feel like they're very, very intense right now. <laughs> I really should put on some corrector. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach. Love this stuff. Seriously, some of my favorite, probably one of my favorite products of the moment. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You guys have seen me use this in a million and one videos. Love this stuff so much. I'm putting my highlight super high up as well, just to kind of make my face come out in the middle more. Because I do have a rounder face, and I found that if I highlight the center parts of my face, and not so much out here, then it'll make my face look a bit slimmer. So I've been trying that out recently, and I quite enjoy it. Looks so weird. <laughs> like I won't blend it all the way into my hairline, but I will just work it out a little bit. So because I want to do dark lips, I'm not going to start bronzing or contouring or anything like that until I have the lips on so I can know how to proportionately do everything or else I'm going to look very, very washed out. So I'm going to start off by lining my lips with the Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Pencil in the shade Perfect Berry because this is the only dark lip liner that I own and it's brand new. Um, I love the Too Faced Lip Liners though. I own the Perfect Spice and I also own the Perfect Nude in the old packaging. So I thought that I'd pick this one up because I don't own any berry lip liners. So this is what the lip liner looks like. It is retractable, which is good. Um, I haven't used this shade before, but even if it doesn't match, at least it'll be dark and it'll provide a little bit of a border. And then I'm going to go in with MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Film Noir. Um, it looks like that and I've never used it before, so hopefully it's what I'm after. I feel like the camera doesn't do this color justice at all. It's similar to Cyber, but I feel like it's a little bit more wearable than Cyber. I don't know if I wanted to continue on with this look. I really want to change it. <laughs> but it does make your teeth look really, really white. Oh man, I think I want to use a red. Okay, this is coming off. Like, I really, really like it, but I'm not in the mood for dark lips anymore. Like I was 10 minutes ago, and now I'm not into it. Okay, taking it off. Now I am going to be using the shade light palette today. I've never used this before, so hopefully it's not a complete fail. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the banana powder, and I'm going to mix. I'm actually just going to mix all three highlights. Why not? Oh, okay. Maybe I won't. This is very, very powdery. Like if you can see, it's like lifted up heaps of powder. Like I'm literally just touching it, and all this powder is flying out. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to use the banana shade today, just on this Real Techniques detailer brush, or setting brush rather. I'm just going to start from the inner corner and work my way out. Yeah, this powder is very powdery. <laughs> Now I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to contour, like I'm just going to draw a stripe down my nose. This shade is less powdery than the other shade. So I'm going to take Mulch, which is this shade here, and I'm just going to work that into my outer corner. I love those shades like just those cult favorites that I heard about like four or five years ago and I've only just came around to trying them now like what is wrong with me oh my god okay so I'm gonna mix the shade of vapor which is the one up the top with rice paper which is this one here I'm just gonna put that underneath my brow bone I feel like that vapor shade isn't very pigmented so now I'm just gonna take brun love this shade so much I'm just gonna work that onto my very very outer corner I'm going to take a Zoeva angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to use brun again. I'm going to use it in my eyebrows because brun is my eyebrow color. So 
So I'm just going to use a little bit of woodwinked and also a little bit of mulch. And I'm just going to use that on my lower lash line. Okay, so I have no idea where my mascara has gone, so I'm just going to be using a new one. This is the Josie Marin Black Oil Mascara. So yeah, this is what the one looks like. It's kind of cool, so let's hope that it's good. Although you probably won't be able to see it because my eye makeup is so dark. So far from the looks of it, it's just a pretty generic mascara. It doesn't do too much. I actually really, really don't like this mascara. It's really, really hard to just apply mascara. It's really, really difficult. Ooh, I might just chuck this in my handbag for if I really am desperate for mascara, because I don't like that at all. But I am gonna whack on falsies now. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes, and I love, love, love these so, so much. I'm actually really not liking my eyebrows today. <laughs> now I'm not really too sure. I think I want to grab this shade and I want to contour a little bit, but I actually no. I'm going to start off with this shade and try and contour. And if I think it's too warm, then I'll go in with this color. I feel like I have so much stuff that I'd want to tell you guys, but I don't know if you guys would want to hear it. Like I have so many funny stories, or at least I think they're funny. That went way too much. Like, I have so many funny stories that I'd love to tell you guys, but I'm just not too sure if you're interested. <laughs> like, I don't know. I actually have no idea why people hype that up so much. It wasn't worth, like, it wasn't worth that much hype. Like, it's good, but it's not like be all, end all. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Beige. It looks like this. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this intense, but oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I'm just patting my concealer brush or foundation brush over the side where I did it super, super intense just to dull it down a little bit. Oh my gosh. I love this. That is so beautiful. Not even kidding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like this lipstick isn't going to work either, but I'm going to try MAC Lady Danger. Never used it before, but I feel like my eyes are neutral enough that I could maybe wear it. Let's hope so. So let's give it a go. I've never worn a shade like this in my life. Oh my gosh, it looks like a bright orange on camera. Makes your teeth look really white though. I actually quite like that. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I've just randomly chucked in a few curls in my hair to reduce the frizz a little bit. And yeah, so overall I really, really enjoyed that MAC palette. It was really, really nice. And I loved that Bobbi Brown highlighter as well. I'll definitely continue to use those in future videos. The Kat Von D palette was okay, but I don't think it was worth the hype that everyone was hyping it up to be. Like it just sounded like a palette that you needed, needed, needed. And it seriously wasn't. Like I feel like my stylist contour kit would have done the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I did enjoy it. Um, I'll definitely have to update you guys on the Luminous Silk. I don't feel like it's a foundation that I can just say, yep, get it, it's great. I don't feel like that is how I feel about it right now. I feel like because of the price tag and how much I really need to use, I don't think that I can give it that status just yet. I will need to trial it out for a few weeks before I can let you guys know. But you all know when I have my opinion on it, I'll definitely let you know. So... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and even share on social media if you want to, maybe, to help me out. I don't know. Up to you. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.